Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a makeup organization video for you and this is really just the introduction because I am going to bring you with me into my bathroom and my closet vlog style so that you can see some of my organizational um, items and containers and things like that. So I'll do one video on makeup organization. Sorry, I just got a text. And then I will do one video on... Um, my makeup collection, my current makeup collection. So those are gonna be two separate videos. So with that, I am going to stop the camera and I'm gonna bring you into my bathroom vlog style and show you just the way that I organize um, my makeup in different spots. So um, here we go. Okay, so there is an amazing brand called Allegory and they make all this acrylic stuff for makeup storage. This is a lipstick one and it comes with all these different lips, lipstick holders, so I'm showing you just one lipstick. So you put it in there. You can also take these little pieces off if you don't want them, and you can just put your lipsticks here. The only thing is they kind of, there's a lot of room because you can fit big lipsticks in here. Like for example, the Marc Jacobs lipsticks do not fit in traditional makeup holders. So, you know, the Marc Jacobs ones do fit in here. So it's up to you. You can leave the little piece on there to hold them in place, or you can put this little thing on to hold it in place. These do fit in the Alex drawers, by the way. They fit in the Ikea drawers, the Alex drawers. Another makeup storage idea that's also um, by Allegory is this little brush holder. And I'm gonna show you another one on my counter in just a second. Brush holder, did I just say that? It is for anything that stands up. So like for example, right here on my vanity, I have one that's got like my lip liners that I'm trying to use right now on this side. And on this side, it's got my eyeliners and it's got like some chubby pencils. So it's got a couple of chubby lipsticks and chubby eye pencils. But this is a great way to see what you've got because I find when I put my eye pencils in a container like this that I keep my brushes in, I cannot, I can't tell what I'm looking at. And this is just a really easy way to know exactly what you're going for. When I'm going for my black eyeliner, I just, I can see it. It's easy to pull out. So if you want something for your vanity to organize, um, you know, brushes, uh, not brushes, pencils and stuff, this is amazing. For brushes, I just got these. These are pencil holders and I got them from Office Max or Office Depot. And um, in a minute, I'm gonna take you to my closet. I'm gonna show you, there's like a matching paper organizer, which I use for palettes. But any kind of pencil holder from Target or any of the um, office supply stores or container store or what else? Um, I'm trying to think of who else would carry something like this. Those are the main places that would carry these things are great for brush storage. So I have some brushes in there and I have some brushes in here. I also wanted to show you another item by Allegory that is um, this like lip gloss organizer. You can use it for anything. You can use it for lip glosses. You can use it for, um, as you can see, concealers. I just stood up two things in there so you can see what you can use it for. I'm currently not using it because I try, I'm trying to keep all of my makeup in my Alex drawers. But I think this is, if you have all your makeup on a shelf, which is how I previously had it before I had so much makeup, I think this is a fabulous way to keep all your lip glosses and all of your concealers, anything that can stand up. Another really great way to organize anything, um, chubby pencils, um, mascaras is this little bead organizer. I actually got this idea from Marlena on Makeup Geek a long, long time ago. These are actually bead organizers. So this comes from a beading store. I think I ordered it online. I'll try to find it for you guys and link it. But you can stand anything up on there. Like you see, mascaras fit, chubby pencils fit. I had a bunch of chubby pencil lipsticks in here. Certain lip glosses fit, certain ones don't. Like, let's see if this Becca one fits. This Becca one does not fit. You would have to put it in the standing organizer. But this little bead container does, is a good way to just like stand a lot of stuff up so that you can see, again, what you have. Because if you can see it, you know you have it and you're more likely to use it. So the next thing I wanted to show you is I just wanted to show you the top drawer of my bathroom. And I wanted to show you just how I organize. It's gross because it's got like makeup all over it, but I wanted to show you how I organize just my everyday makeup. I have like my tweezers, my eyelash curler, nail clippers, cuticle clippers in this drawer here. 
In this, I just have like random stuff, like a lip gloss that I just bought that's Jordana that I wanna use. Um, like my, um, my well, this is Christian Dior, it's my creme de rose, that is what it's called. It's just a lip balm. Um, just little things that I wanna use that I'm trying to use up. Like I have these lip pencils that are so old, they're Bobbi Brown, and I really wanna use them up. So I have them in this drawer so that I just reach for them every day. And then like my EOS lip balm and my IT Cosmetics, um, it's called like Bye Bye Redness. It's like a concealer. And my lip exfoliator um, and some lipsticks that I want to use. I usually keep my concealers in this drawer. Um, that's normally where my Tarte Shape Tape goes. So you see I have a few different um, concealers there depending on what kind of look I'm going for that day. This is like my Eye Stuff Mascara. Um, my Acorn, you guys know I love that from ColourPop. My eye primer, just easy access to the things I want to use every single day. And then all of my powders and blushes I have standing up in this drawer organizer. I don't know where I got this drawer organizer because it is years and years and years and years old, but you can get something like this very easily at the container store. So I'll link something from the container store that resembles this. It also has room for my Viseart palette, my, um, my Flower Beauty eye palette that I'm using, my Effordant. I put my retainers in there to clean my contain my retainers um, so that I keep my teeth straight, my nail buffer. Um, so that is how I organize my everyday makeup. Now the next drawer is, I have a tissue on the floor here, sorry. The next drawer I have, this container is by Allegory and it's like a powder blush drawer, but what I use it for is for all my foundations. So. In this drawer, I stand up, as you can see, all my foundations in these nice little compartments. They're like perfect for my CoverGirl foundations. They fit in there perfectly. Like my Rimmel foundation, my Too Faced foundation, my Tarte, um, which foundation is this? Amazonian Clayful Coverage Foundation. My CoverGirl foundations, I have one that's, um, who is this by? Oh, Bourgeois, my sister-in-law bought this for me because she lives in Paris and um, my Maybelline ones. I can't believe that like almost all of my foundations are drugstore except for my peach one. I have like my primers. It's just a great way to organize little stuff like some Afrin for if I would get a cold or a sinus infection, my nose spray, my sunscreens. And then these little containers, I have this little container down here for like all of my face creams and eye creams and my color switch some Q-tips. This container is from the container store. I'll show you more of those when I get to my Alex drawers. And I have a second one right here that holds like my, my model in a bottle, all my setting sprays, my a face mask. Oh, here's my peach foundation. Just all the different primers. My Becca, um, my Becca, what is this called? Shimmering Skin Perfector my Cora's skin primer. And then I have a palette here, this palette that I'm obsessed with that I've been using every single day. I can't stop using it. Um, this little container I use for my Shiseido um, swabs. I have my lotion, my Q-tips. This is just a little candle, um, votive candle holder that I got at Hobby Lobby. There's hair everywhere, guys, sorry. This is like near where I flat, flat iron my hair, so my hair is always falling out in this drawer. Um, it's just a votive holder and it's perfect, perfect, perfect for Q-tips. So I keep my little pointed Q-tips there and these little sponges are from Rodin and Fields and they're good for my toner. So this is for getting my eye makeup up, off, my little Shiseido cotton pads and a little old candy jar that's crystal is what's holding my um, Rodin and Fields uh, little um, gauze pads that I use to clean off my face. So I'll link all that stuff below. Back here, I got this from the container store. This is just like got three little compartments. So I put my retainers in there. I have my beauty blender standing in an egg holder. How ridiculous is that? But is that not the best idea for holding your beauty blender, guys? When you poach eggs, you can serve them in these little containers and they're a perfect storage method for a beauty blender. Can't recommend it enough. You can e either leave this sitting on the counter like that. Sorry, dirty beauty blender or my daughter's walking in here, or you can put it in your drawer and close the drawer. So in just a minute, I'm gonna take you to my closet and show you more stuff. Say hi, Mia. Say hi. No highs? Okay, I'll see you guys in a few minutes.
Okay, so this is a napkin ring, but this is another way to store your beauty blender. All you do is set the beauty blender on top of it, and it's just a nice way, you know, if you just want to set a beauty blender on top of it, it's another nice way just to keep your beauty blender on your counter, and you can find so many adorable um, napkin rings. So go to like Anthropology or Pottery Barn, and you can find cute napkin rings, or you can find an egg poacher a poached egg container to store your beauty blender in when you like to leave on your counter. Um, okay, so now I am going to take you guys to my closet and I'm going to show you how I organize some of my stuff in there. So we are in a corner of my closet. I have my Vera Bradley um, little travel bag hanging up there. That's what I take with me when I travel. And I have my Alex drawers over here. And what I wanted to show you specifically was this little container. This matches my round pencil cups that I got at like an office store. And I also got this letter organizer, but it's perfect for big palettes. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? And I have two of them because they're so easy. I also have Fix Plus spray and it's got a little, like a littler section over here so you can put littler palettes in there. So I love this little container. I think it's so useful. I have another one over here, which, let me move this stuff out of the way, which I also keep other palettes in my Viseart palettes and things like that. So find some kind of um, letter organizer and it is a great way to organize palettes. My really good friend Paya got me this little pencil. It's like a pencil stand to put my brushes in. How cute is that, you guys? It's new, I haven't used it yet. But you just stick brushes in there. It's like a brush holder. I thought that was like the best idea. Um, this is a safe, but I just keep some of my makeup on it. This is like brushes that I have that need to be washed. I use these little containers when I'm gonna do like favorites videos or something like that, just to bring all my stuff from my closet to my bedroom so I can talk to you guys about it. Um, and then I have other brushes. I have um, some more beauty blenders that are in a box. I have a, um, a Benefit um, little box that was a 500 point Sephora gift that I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, when I reach 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway with that plus the Lorac, um, this Lorac palette. So when... I reach 5,000, these things I will be giving away to you guys. Um, and then I just have like another little container that holds all my masks that I need to try. I have a few little masks. It holds makeup bags. I think I got this at, it's just like a utility bin. I got it at maybe Container Store. So I just have like three little makeup bags standing up in there. Some cards, gift cards that I need to use and masks. And then inside my makeup drawers, I have um, these little blush holders. You can see they've got like, you can like stand all your blush up. Those are from Allegory. And then I have these little containers that are from, oops, there goes a blush, that are from the container store. Um, but they're really nice. I'm not very organized right now, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can like stand your blushes up in here. They fit, see? You can stand your blushes up in them, so they're actually really convenient. You can just line them up side by side and put all your blushes in there. Sorry, you can't see. So anyway, that's how I store my blushes. My lipsticks, I have these little containers also from the container store. They're just nice for standing lipsticks up. All my Jouer lipsticks are just in these little acrylic containers also from the container store and then I have a, several of these acrylic containers that are slightly elevated so you can see what you have those are from the container store all my MAC lipsticks had the traditional MAC lipstick cover but Allegory also makes these clear lipstick covers that are compatible with MAC lipsticks so you can see what you have so I took off all the um lids and I replaced them with the clear lids so you can see so I can see what MAC lipsticks I have um I'm gonna do a whole separate makeup collection video so you guys can see what I have but I have all of my like um stuff separated in my Alex drawers in these containers that are from the container store they're called bricks so I will link them for you guys down below 
Um, you know, these are like my powders also in these bricks containers. The nice thing about the bricks containers is that you can layer them. So this is an example of layering. So they come with these kind of flat layering trays. They're more like trays and you can layer them on top of each other. So I have like several layers in my Alex drawers of my ColourPop eyeshadows which I think is a really good way to like utilize the Alex drawers. This is also by Allegory. It just fits all of my L'Oreal Infallible shadows, which I think I have all of them. And these bricks containers, you can also get them. They're like in long, long versions. So, and they fit long ways across the Alex drawers. Now I can't get it back in. Oh, sheesh. I'll have to work on that in a little bit. Anyway. Then, same, I have these little um, trays for, this one's empty, but I have a lot of my eyeliners stacked up in different trays. So there are three trays all on top of each other here. That one's empty on the bottom. And then just those little bricks. I like everything to be consistent, so almost everything I have in here are bricks. In the Alex drawers, you can fit two of these bricks things side by side. The nice thing about those little well, let me get to that in a second. Here are my lipsticks. These are travel lipstick cases that I got from Marlena's channel when I watched her makeup um, organizational video several, several years ago, but I love them. I ripped the lids off, so you can actually, if you're like a makeup artist, you can, they have actually come with lids and you can close it so that all your lipsticks can be in order, but I ripped them off and they fit so nicely in the Alex drawers and I just think it's a great way of organizing lipsticks. I like it better than the ones that I showed you back in my bathroom, which is why those are empty and this is full. And then, um, like, my palettes are just sitting in one of these bricks containers right here, the shorter palettes that I can fit in these drawers. The big ones are in the letter organizer from the office store. But again, I've got these, oops, I've got these trays stacked up um, on, uh, like, a bigger bricks container and you can slide, you can slide these little trays. So I have a bigger bricks container here. There are two side by side and this is on top and you can slide it. And then same with my lipstick and lip gloss drawer. Also the nice thing, so like I have all of my lipsticks in these trays on top of each other. And the nice thing about these bricks containers, let me just move this out of the way really quick is you can separate them. They have like little separating pieces so you can separate them so that your stuff doesn't move around. So all my lip liners are separated from this other compartment back here. So I love these and you can like slide them. They're just so convenient. All bricks from the container store. And then lastly in this bottom drawer I have more bricks containers as you can see. And like all my primers are here and they're stacked. I have two bricks containers, like lashes and stuff in the bottom right there. And then I store, like, I just get these little, these were actually containers that had little desserts in them from Costco. And once, they were my nannies actually, and once she ate the desserts out of them, she gave them to me to store my makeup in. So I have several of those, which are just, they fit so nicely into the Alex drawers. Here's another one that's empty. So those are some storage tips for you. Again, I'll do a whole separate makeup collection video in more detail, um, you know, but mugs are another great way to store all of your makeup. So those are just a few of um, my makeup storage ideas that I wanted to share with you guys in case you have Alex drawers and you were trying to reorganize them. I love those bricks organizers. And, um, or if you have all your stuff on a shelf, um, some different ways to organize stuff on a shelf. So I hope that you guys found that video useful. I have spent a long time coming up with like really, really sensible ways of organizing my makeup. And as my makeup collection has grown, those things have obviously changed. When I had a smaller makeup collection and I just had all my makeup on a little shelf, I had certain organizational products. And as my makeup collection has grown since I had a YouTube channel, I bought the Alex drawers and some of the organizational 
products that are inside the Alex drawers. So depending on how much makeup you have, you can hopefully take some of these tips that I gave you today and really get your makeup organized so that you know what you have because when you know what you have and you can see it every day, you're much more likely to use it. If it's like tucked away and you really can't see it, I feel like things get forgotten. So I hope that this video helped. It was so much fun to film. If you guys are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you will be notified each time I post a new video. Take care, guys.